pour this over here. There we go. Bavan, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to make a point here. And what point is that besides burning good money? Exactly right. We've got too many people we meet who have practically just burnt their money up because when they think about accessibility, they kind of assume they've got to gut the bathroom, add on an addition, all this crazy expensive stuff when there really are less expensive options that are really within range. There sure are. Yeah. What a great point, huh? <laughs> it is a good point, but I think you're getting a little close on that one. Hey, I'm here today with a mom of a young lady who has a disability. Uh, this is a family that has recently used our services and they were willing to share their story with you. Hi. Um, several months ago we got the opportunity to move into a house that's got a lot of character. Okay. And it's older and there are very thick walls and it was uncertain what was behind walls. And Maddie's old shower chair would not fit into the bathtub. And I called Bev Ann and said, we're looking at this house. It's been offered to us by people who care about Maddie, but I'm not certain we can make it work because of the bathroom. And so Bev Ann came out with her rulers and her, and she went everywhere in this house to the basement and, and looked at pipes and thicknesses of walls and all kinds of things that I didn't even know existed. Um, and was able to come up with an option for us that I had never heard of, had no idea how it was going to work, um, and it was quite wonderful because it required nothing from the landlord who has already been more than generous. We didn't have to put in a new shower. Um, we could use just what was right here, and um, it actually is a lot more versatile than anything that we've ever used before. Um, for one thing, Maddie's old shower chair was lower, and this one is higher, and so it puts me um, at a position where I can just very easily um, do everything that we need to do in the bath, um, which is a bit more than what most people would do in a bathtub. Yeah. And then, when we leave the bathroom, um, we can take her to an area of the house where all of her things are, and in the shower chair and it's perfect height and moves easily enough that it's actually the easiest piece of equipment to move that we've got. Wow, that's exciting to hear. It is, <laughs> it really is. And so things, silly things like cutting Maddie's fingernails, you can cut her on one side and flip the chair around and cut the other side without bending her arm off. Um, Maddie has a lot of hair and it takes a long time for those of us who are hair challenged to fix it and I can do that in the shower chair and it just makes life just lots easier. We just put a huge towel on the floor and what little water drips, drips on the towel, we're good. Um, it's just amazing. Um, our biggest issue is we live in a house with no closets and so where where do you put this, this piece of equipment? The pieces are actually very light and we just rearrange things in the next room and found a place to put it. Yeah, so, that's great. It is. Well, yeah. I'm glad you called me and I really appreciate the trust you had in us because, like you said, you'd never seen it before and it was nothing you'd ever heard of. But I'm really glad it solved the problem. It did solve the problem. Good deal. Alright, so that was actually a really good example of how a person avoided just kind of burning money up by choosing equipment over expensive structural remodeling. Great idea, huh? Wonderful idea. So, share the news, share the video. Accessibility remodeling does not have to be expensive, and really, there is absolutely nothing sillier than burning money.